This video will walk you through the steps of extracting a C2B file, which is step one of your key update procedure. And many of you may have seen this uh, email, which allows the user to upgrade the software from version to version. So this might be, for example, an upgrade between Builder version 2017 and Builder version 2018. The same instructions would apply to other programs like Adapt PTRC, Adapt Felt, Adapt ABI, and so on. And in this case, there are three what we'll call general instructions. That's the extraction of the C2B file and sending that to Adapt. There's the upgrade of the file. So once it's sent to Adapt, Adapt will send back an upgrade file that will be applied um, to your system. And then the third thing is to download and install the new version. And this is required to be done on the computer that hosts either the physical uh, license, which might be a hard lock, a USB key, or a soft license network or standalone. So the first step will be to extract the security key profile, and that's um, performed using these sub steps one through six. The first thing we're going to do is delete any copies of the ADAPT RUS application. And this application does not have an uninstaller so we have to basically find the application and then delete it. A couple of locations you can look at initially would be in the C drive. If we go to the C drive on the computer where the license is hosted, and we'll go to Program Files x86 under the Adapt folder. Here you may find an adaptrus.exe. Um, it may also be in the Tools folder or the Adapt Licensing folder. In this case, I've already deleted Adapt RUS from these folders. Additionally, you can go back to the C um, drive in the root uh, directory for C, and here we could just search for Adapt RUS, find the locations of Adapt RUS, and delete them. So once they're deleted, we'll move on to step two, and that is to download and install the new ADAPT licensing tool. So we want to make sure you have the latest tool which is compatible um, with the ability for us to program the licenses appropriately. And what we need to do here is just download the ADAPT utilities. And these are this is called the ADAPT licensing utilities. And we're going to download this tool and then install it. So I'll go ahead here and download. I'm going to save this directly to my uh, desktop. OK, it's been downloaded. I'll go over to my desktop. And I'll extract this. This is a compressed file, so I need to right click and I'm going to extract um, the desktop. And the file is called setup.exe. We'll go ahead and just find that file. It's right here. And I'll run that. Select yes to allow that to be installed. And the program will install adapt licensing utilities. We'll select next and just run through the install shield wizard. And then we'll finish. Here we're going to go ahead and restart the system. Now after the system has restarted, we're going to go down to the um, Windows Start tab. And you can see this is an older version of Windows Operating System. This is Windows 7. But similarly in Windows 8 and Windows 10, you can find the applications that are installed uh, on the computer. Here we're going to go to All Programs. And you'll notice here that in the applications list, we have ADAPT Licensing Utilities, which has been installed. This includes the ADAPT Licensing Tool, RUS, new versions of both, firmware updater for any hard locks or 
hardware that you have um, for the licensing, for the license keys. You have the ability to go directly to the Sentinel Admin Control Center. If I select this option, it will open a browser and take you to localhost 1947, where we can review the list of keys that are currently located on this machine or on this network. I'll go ahead and minimize that. We'll come back to it. Coming back to the list of um, programs under the Adapt Licensing Utilities, we have the Sentinel Runtime Installer. This is the driver package. This is information. This is the actual installer and an uninstaller for the drivers. And then we also have an uninstaller for the entire package Adapt Licensing Utilities. Now, if you wanted to go to the file um, or the folder where that's located, if we go back to the C drive, we're going to select uh, the option for Program Files x86 Adapt. I'll go ahead and expand this. And here we have Adapt Licensing. So if we open Adapt Licensing, we have tools located here that um, are similar to what's located in the Applications list. Let's go ahead and go back to um, the instructions. Okay, we've, we've uh, downloaded and installed the licensing utilities. We now need to run the Adapt RUS, and this allows us to extract the C2V file. So in the Adapt RUS, uh, step three is to run that. In other words, start the RUS, open it, and um, in, Adapt, in, in the Adapt RUS, we're going to create C2V file. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the RUS. There's a couple of locations where it can be um, accessed from. If we go again in the C drive, Program Files x86 Adapt, Adapt Licensing, going to Tools, we have the RUS located here. Or the user can always go to the list of programs, and in the list of programs, you can find it here also. So we'll go ahead and open the RUS. I want to collect status information. So I want to um, collect a C2V file to update an existing protection key. And this key can, again, be um, keyless, meaning it's a soft license, or it can be a hard lock, a USB key. In my case, I'll go back to that um, ACC uh, Admin Control Center page where I list the Sentinel keys. So on this particular computer, um, this, this is the local machine. You can see I have several types of keys here. I have several trials that are basically HASP SL soft license um, types. And then I have this green USB hard lock. This is the key that actually runs the software on this particular computer. So I want to extract the C2V file for the proper key ID. And this key ID begins with 3079. If you're ever, um, if you're ever questioning which key you need to update, I would come to this page and determine which key ID hosts the features that you're looking to update. If it's Builder 2018, you can always go here to Features, for example, and this will show me different product features for, um, for this particular key. If I go to one of uh, these other keys, I can select Features, and you can see this is empty for the most part. So this allows the user to determine which key needs to be updated um, and which one actually hosts the different licenses. So we're going to look for 3079. I'll go back to the RUS and I'm going to select Collect Information. And you can see it selects this key type 3079. There's only one other key that it shows that actually has products on it. I'll select this and say OK. And we're going to go ahead and Name this file, key 3079. It's a C2V file. I'll save it on my desktop. The next step will be to go and send an email to licensing at adapt key. And we're going to attach the C2V file that was just created. And this is sent to licensing. And that will conclude this first step, which is to um, extract the C2V file. If we go back to our um, instructions, let's go back here. We've run the RUS. In the RUS, we created a C2V file. We collected the information. We save the file and send a licensing. 
That will conclude this portion of the key update process. Thank you.